third and final horse stable build tutorial. Personally, I favour this one over the other two. I apologise in advance because I should have built this stable first to know what I was doing and then record the second build. I didn't, so sorry if it appears like I don't know what I'm doing, because I kinda didn't. Time was a bit of an issue. So for markers, I am using blue and white wool. Consider the blue wool marked as a section. There are five sections, which as you can see is white wool, no block blue wool, no block blue wool, no block white wool. Or rather, in between the white wool section. Uh, it makes sense. The stable is nine blocks wide, and I was too lazy to find out the width. As long as you follow what I've shown there, you should be sweet. So onto building, I'm using oak logs, which you place as shown on both sides of any white wool block at the front row. Then, once you've placed all those, you can get rid of the front white and blue wool blocks and in between the logs place an andesite block, specifically in between the one block as you can see me doing there. Once all the blue wool blocks are gone then that is the start of the front of the stable. Moving on to the back wall of the stable I am mirroring the layout of the blocks at the front and in case you can't tell the gap between the pair of logs is three. Then when that's marked out I don't need the rest of the markers so I'll get rid of, get rid of them and finish the outline of the stable. Now the side walls have an oak log in the middle with three andesite blocks either side of it. I'm just going along filling up the first layer after that's done then that first layer is all done. There we go. Now the height. On the existing logs you need to have four more logs added making the height five blocks tall which seems to be a running theme with all the stables I've been building and in fact anything really. After that I'm going to finish the back wall you'll get a different, a better angle rather, which will show you a little bit easier. Yeah, you'll see. So the second block will be an oak log laying down as you're about to see, and that goes all the way along. Once that's finished, then you'll fill in the gaps as, as you're about to see with andesite blocks. Once that's all done, I come along and fill in the the three block, three by one block windows because you can keep it as shown right now if, if you want. But I'm going to come along and fill it in. So what you can't see, but you'll see in a second, is that for the windows I'm using spruce fence posts. You can use glass if you want to. Like that's just what I've gone with. So there you go. That is what the back wall looks like. Now for the side wall. Again it's the laying down oak logs and then filling the rest of it with andesite blocks and again the spruce fences as the windows. And then of course same again on the other side. the front of the build. A laying down oak log, again, I'm not sure how well it can be seen but you get the picture, then two andesite blocks and then at the top a third, third? why is it third? It's another laying down oak log. Now, I'm not sure if it's, no I think it's the layer above I'm thinking of, never mind I'm mixing the two up. Just for a little bit of decoration, as you can see, I'm using upside down spruce stairs to give that just a little bit to get rid of the whole blocky thing to give it a little bit. Now this is, it doesn't matter what block you use, use here, I'm just, I had oak log on me. 
this particular layer won't be seen, it's just going to make it easier for me to place the roof on. So if you wanted to, you could use andesite blocks there, or any block you particularly wanted. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it can be seen from the inside, but it cannot be seen from the outside when it's finished anyway. So to the stable dividers as shown, not really requiring an explanation, but as you can see, the inside blocks, and again, laying down oak logs. As I've said, not really requiring an explanation. It's visuals really all you need to know about it. And it will get clearer, obviously, when I get to that the closer one, make it easier for you to see. All the dividers are now done for all the stalls. Now on to the first layer of the roof. The roof which I hope will never be on fire. So here I'm going to just go one layer all the way around and then I'm going to move on to something else and then I'll go back to the roof. So, in case I hadn't said, spruce, spruce um, wood, for, so spruce fences and spruce stairs. So this thing, I'm, this area I'm building out is the storage area of the stable, which can be reached by the stall below. You can either make that a section, a stall, or an open area for chests and such, whatever you might want to do with it. So currently this is, I'm building it two blocks high here, but it is going to be much taller by the time I've finished with it. And if you want to, I'm not sure why I didn't, but you can, you can make it taller than what I'm going to do by the end of this, but it's just, obviously as I've said before, any build I do, you can alter however way you want to. It's your build, it's your thing. I'm just giving you a basis of an idea. moving just building a little bit more of the roof but if you want to here's just an idea you can make the roof less peaked and turn it into an area that you can walk out onto so you fence it off and add a door to the storage area as you'll be able to see when it's finished and make it taller if you need to that is just a thought if you keep that in mind while you see the rest of the build it might become clearer what I mean but as I said it's just an idea so if you want to make it a little bit more of a I don't know what you want to do with it but make the use the use of the roof a bit more useful you can so tell that that line was ad lib now I cannot remember just ignoring the fact that I've seen this a million times while editing it I'm not sure if I peaked the roof completely or if I flattened there we go I flattened the roof so if you want to you can here's just another thought peak the roof completely and just make the storage area much taller so these are just thoughts I'm kind of coming with the top coming off the top of my head while I'm watching this and narrating it so obviously as you saw before the other side of the roof same again on this side generally the way it works unless you make a build that isn't mirrored sure how it would look but you might try dark oak that might look just as good so there we go roof is all finished on both sides now back to the storage area which the only reason I didn't finish it before was because I needed to know as I said this was the first time I built it before instead of getting everything right the first time and building it again I um you can make, as I say, this is why I came back to it now, because 
I didn't know how tall the roof was going to be so I just decided to leave it do the roof and come back to it so now I would recommend at the base of the storage it's, you can see it's two andesite blocks laying down oak log and then another layer if you want to I I would have but I just didn't do it at the time maybe move the laying down oak log layer up one more give it a little bit more height I suppose it's completely up to you it's also up to you if you want to add windows to this area it's I decided not to the reason I would actually make this taller is because I would have a little bit more of a gap between the roof and the roof of the storage area Again, I cannot remember for the life of me if I turned this roof into a peaked roof or not, but I'm going to see in a second. And as I said at the beginning, I do kind of favour this one more over the other two I built. I still like the other two. The first one was quite a simple, easier build to follow, I think. The second one I liked, but um, yeah, this one is my favourite, I think, of all three. Now, redstone, going into the pistons and do, make, fixing the floor. Now, as someone pointed out to me, I feel like I should mention this. Oh, I'm sorry, I really should have written it down, but I, I, I've forgotten already who it was. Uh, someone left a comment on the first build stable I did, saying that they feel like I ripped off someone's build. Someone who, someone who did a video, I've, I've sent them an email letting them know what happened, but they thought I ripped off someone's, someone did a video tutorial before me, um, pretty much the same build as the first tutorial I did. Now that's fine, and the only reason I'm saying this is because I built the stable and put a picture of that exact stable in DeviantArt months before this other YouTuber's video was released. Now, dates wise, I made the picture, they made the video first, then I made my video. But, I don't know. I'm kind of, I, should, I don't really want to talk about it. Not as a sense of, no, I don't want to say, it's, it's purely because I'm not thinking clearly and I don't want to say something stupid, I don't know. But moving on back to the point of this stable. Now, I've used half blocks underneath purely because I didn't want... I wanted as much height as possible in the storage area. Well, many times can I say storage area this video. Now, so every piece of wood in this build that isn't a log is spruce. So the fence is spruce and the stairs and half blocks are all spruce. In case I hadn't made that quite clear, you can kind of tell I've only half done a script and then ad-libbed everything else. And if you didn't know, you know now. Alright, so as I said earlier on, this particular section, or now on the other scene, could be made into a stall for a horse, or you could have it open and free to access and walk, whatever. Now this particular bit obviously is optional just as everything else in every build is optional. I'll fix that in a minute. You, I'm just adding this upside down stairs to give it a little bit more, I don't know, decorativeness, a bit nicer. So here, storage area, so crafting table if you want to craft some things, maybe some hay bales, I don't know, and then you know, all sorts of chests, I don't know, you can put it in whatever place you want to, it's just, I didn't mean it to look so symmetrical, it just kind of ended up that way. There we go, obviously this bit, again, not necessary, it's just kind of what I want to do. Just adds that little bit of decoration to it. I suppose if you wanted to, you could add some vines. I don't know. Uh, I've had some split pea soup, don't mind me. So, all the horsies. I hope I haven't left anything out. I hope this build has been something you may have been looking after, looking after, looking f out for. It made sense in my head, which is not saying a lot. But so yeah, I hope this was something that could help you if 
you're looking for something like this, I hope I haven't been misleading in anything I've said because I can't even remember what I said a few seconds ago. Something about another video, but there we go. Got the hay bales, I suppose, if you want to. If you don't want to use the hay, you could use an alternate wooden block discoloration to make it look just slightly different. So, there we go. I hope, again, if I I'll say it for the last time, I hope it's been helpful. Hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Thank you for watching, but I'd rather you leave a, a comment why you didn't like it than a dislike, because that doesn't help me out a lot. But anyway, thanks again. I've been Retta. See ya!